loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. I am so happy for you to join me today. Do you find diffusing confusing? Well, that is definitely something that I found when I first started my curly girl journey. Every time I would try and diffuse my hair, I would end up in nothing but a big, fluffy, frizzy mess. Now thankfully today I feel like I have a little bit more of a handle on how to diffuse my hair and I'm going to be coming to you with some of my favorite tips and tricks that I have learned along the way to help you figure out how to diffuse your hair without ending up in that big frizzy mess. Now before you even think about touching your hair dryer or diffusing your hair, we need to talk about the products that you're going to put onto your curls before we start that process. So if you're not using any sort of gel, mousse, curl cream, anything like that on your hair before you go in with your diffuser and start blowing air all through it, all you're going to do is just blow the curl pattern out of your hair altogether. So you always want to make sure that you're using some sort of protective curly girl approved product just to give your curls a chance to be able to maintain its moisture because even when we are using our diffuser on a low heat you are still putting heat into your curls so we want to make sure that that's protected but the gel or mousse or curl cream is also going to help keep your curl memory so as your hair dries or we hit it with the diffuser it's going to allow your curls to clump together correctly and find their normal curl pattern without blowing all over the place into that frizz okay tip number two I definitely recommend that you give your hair a chance once you've styled it to just rest that can be 15 to 30 minutes I know some curlies wait one to two hours where they just allow their hair to try and develop that light cast now there are a couple of ways that you can allow your hair to rest so the first one is super simple you style it and then just leave it alone don't touch it allow it to air dry as I said anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes or some people like to do one to two hours completely up to you Number two is to plop your hair. So plopping your hair is where we put our curls gently and delicately once styled into a cotton t-shirt and wrap that up on our head. By doing this, this is going to allow your hair to absorb those beautiful moisturizing products that you've put into your hair and spent all of that time styling as well as allowing it to absorb the moisture and develop its curl pattern and how they want to sit. It also gives the t-shirt or microfiber towel a chance to extract out any excess moisture that we don't need to have in your hair while you're blow drying it. And then this is going to help you cut your drying time in half. And the third option is to micro plop your hair. So micro plopping is where we take our microfiber towel or our t-shirt and we simply cup the bottom strands up towards the head and gently squeeze out the excess moisture. Release and go again. So you'll do this all over your head, allowing you that chance to extract that excess moisture that your hair does not need while you're trying to blow dry it. As I said, you can use any of these options and you don't have to do any of this if you don't want to. If you are one of those curlies who has the ability to jump straight out of the shower, style their hair with products and then hit it with a diffuser straight away with absolute minimal frizz, girl, more power to you. But I just find that if I don't allow my hair a chance to rest, absorb that moisture, absorb those beautiful products, then I just end up in a huge mess. Tip number three for when you are blow drying your hair is to make sure that you are using a diffuser. There are many different types of diffusers that you can use that are out there and the main point that I want you to take away from this is that you can have the absolute best hair dryer in the entire universe but if you are not using it correctly and following the correct tips and tricks that are provided here, it doesn't matter. It's not going to make a difference. You are going to end up with massive frizz, flat hair, no root lift if you're not doing it correctly. The only things that you are going to need to look for in your hairdryer is to try and make sure that they have a cool shot option. 
Uh, that will just allow um, you to be able to put through some cool bursts of air if you need to. And that they also have a multitude of heat and airflow settings. When I diffuse my hair, I have figured out that the low airflow and low or no heat setting is best for my hair personally. Some curlies are able to use a medium heat or a medium to high airflow. I just find that this is a bit too crazy for my hair, so I do stick to the lower settings. Now for the exciting part, we are going to jump straight into diffusing. I have seen in a lot of videos and was guilty of this myself, where people would go in with their diffuser and cup it straight from the bottom and scoop their hair up like this as their very first point of contact. Now, you don't want to do that. A brilliant tip that I learned from Mains by Mel is that you leave your ends until the end. You want to make sure that you aim to dry your roots first. They're the ones that are going to take the longest to dry and there's no point drying the ends of your hair to still have your roots damp. You're not going to get any root lift, not going to get any volume and you're just going to have your ends all blown out and fluffy while these are still being weighed down by the dampness in your hair. Another little tip, when you are drying your roots, you want to be super gentle to start with. Your hair's started to develop that little bit of a cast, so you don't want to go head banging around, flipping your hair back and forth, super gentle, starting at the roots. I'm going to start with a low heat and low airflow setting. Now another tip is that while you're diffusing your hair, you don't want to touch your curls, okay? If you touch your curls while it's still wet and it's in the middle of that drying process, you're going to disturb your curl pattern, creating more frizz, you're going to lose all your definition and you're basically wasting your time with your diffusing. So try and keep your hands out of your hair until it is 100% dry. So when you feel like your roots are about 90% dry, that's when we can start making our way further down our hair. Now a couple of things to keep in mind. We're not just going to use the barrel of our diffuser, scoop up our curls and squish them into our head. Okay? That's just going to create frizz, disturb your curl pattern, break up that gel cast before we're ready and before the hair is dry. So as always, we're going to be super gentle, we're going to lift the hair and place it into the barrel, lifting and scooping onto our head. Now you don't want to keep it here for too long because as the heat and the airflow goes into the curls, you'll find that if you stay there for a long period of time, they're going to stay crunched up and can become a bit wonky. We've now diffused our hair to about 90% dry and now what I like to do is go in with just a tiny little bit of gel and some water on my fingertips and just fix up any little pieces that don't seem to be cooperating and give them a little finger coil just to encourage them to dry in that nicer curl pattern.
So our hair is fully diffused and the final tip that I have for you is one that I can't take credit for. It is actually from Swavy Wavy Courtney where she uses her fingers to determine whether her curls are dry or not. So what you do is you slide your hand gently into your curls with your fingers open and then we're just going to close them like that. You'll be able to feel the dampness or whether your curls are dry, open and slide out again. We of course are ready to scrunch out the crunch. A couple of ways you can do this, you can use your microfiber towel or your t-shirt to gently scrunch out the crunch. You can go in with just your hands or as I like to, I use my old faithful, the Righteous Roots Oil. A couple of drops on the palm and then gently scrunching through the hair. And there you have it. That is how we diffuse our hair with minimal frizz and extra volume. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the alarm bell so that you're notified for when I post new videos. And as always, you can reach me on Instagram at CurlyJessJourney. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.